In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Nintendo Switch emulator called Eden. This emulator is a fork of Yuzu. So as the recording of this video, the latest version is 00.2 and as of the recording of this video, this emulator is still in development. I will leave the link to this GitHub page in a pinned comment below. Once you are here, go ahead and scroll down. Under Assets, you will find your downloads and we are downloading this emulator for Windows. So we're going to click this file here and your download will start. Now I have moved my downloaded file to my desktop. You guys can save this wherever you like, whether that's an SSD, external SSD, hard drive, it's up to you. Also here on my desktop, I have a folder containing keys, firmware, and some switch ROMs, all files that are required to get this emulator up and running. Now let's start by extracting our emulator file. Now you can use your built-in Windows extractor by right-clicking on the file and going here to extract all or you can download this free software called 7-Zip and this is what I prefer to use to extract my files. I will leave the link in the description. So if you have 7-Zip, then you can go down to show more options, 7-Zip and extract to Eden. This is gonna create a new folder containing your extracted files. We no longer need the zip file so we can right click on it and delete it. Now inside of my keys folder, I have my prod.keys and title.keys. Now when you find your keys, you will need to extract that file as well to be able to get these two files. And the same thing goes for your firmware. You will need to extract it to get what you're seeing on screen. In my ROMs folder, I have a few ROMs and your file types must be NSP or XCI files to be playable in Eden. For example, when you first get a Switch ROM, it will be in a compressed format as this and we will need to extract it. So we can go ahead and right click. I'm gonna use 7-Zip again. So I'm gonna go down to show more options. 7-Zip and this time extract here. And as you see, by extracting the file, you will get an NSP or XCI file type that you can go ahead and delete the zip file. Now, if you have any updates or DLC files for any of your games, I have a folder here, updates, then you will need to extract those files as well. Extract here and delete the zip folder. Now, as far as your keys, firmware, and switch ROMs, I am sorry, I cannot tell you here where to find these files. Just do some searching on Google. I'm pretty sure you will find what you are looking for. Or you can check out my Patreon page, link in the description, and I will have some videos there that can help you out with your keys, firmware, and switch ROMs. Now, let's go back over to our emulator folder. And let's go ahead and open the emulator, which is this file here. Now, if you have another fork of Yuzu already set up on your PC, you're gonna get this message here. So it's asking me would I like to migrate my data over to Eden. Now I am making this video for first time users, so I'm gonna select no. Once you have the emulator open, the first thing we're gonna do is import our keys. So let's go up to the top left and click on tools, install decryption keys. Go ahead and locate wherever you have your keys, in my case on my desktop in that keys folder, and select prod keys. Successfully installed, okay. Now let's install our firmware. Back up to tools, install firmware. Locate your firmware, also on my desktop. Now you're not gonna see your files here that's in that firmware folder, just come down to select folder. And to note that your firmware actually installed, if you look down here in the bottom right, you will see the version of firmware that you just installed. Now let's load in our ROMs. So right here it says double click to add a new folder to the games list. Go ahead and double click. Locate your folder containing your Switch ROMs. And again, those ROMs will not be displayed. Just go ahead and hit select folder. Now, if you have any updates or DLC files that you wanna install for particular games, in my case, I have an update for Team Sonic Racing, then you just wanna go up to File, Install Files to NAND. I'm gonna to go to my Updates folder and select that Team Sonic Racing update and install. And now if you look in the Add-ons column, you will see the new update has been installed 1.0.3. Now, if you right click on a game, go to properties, 
you have the option here under add-ons to turn on and off that update. And this is great if you have multiple update files or multiple DLC files. You can select which ones you want to use. Also, you can go through here, CPU, graphics, advanced graphics, and you can make custom settings for this particular game. Now let's go up to emulation, configure, and let's go down to graphics. Make sure your API is set on Vulkan for the best performance. And if your PC has a graphics card, make sure your device is set on your graphics card and not your CPU. Make sure VSync mode is on. Down here next to resolution, you have the option to go up to seven times, but just know that increasing your resolution will affect your gameplay if you do not have a powerful PC. So if you start noticing a lot of lagging, then you may want to come back here and try lowering your graphics. I have a pretty powerful PC and my monitor is a 1440p monitor. So I like to increase my graphics to two times. Now, if you're wondering why are there two resolutions shown, the one on the left is for handheld mode and the one on the right is for docked mode. And to know which mode you are running in, check the bottom left of your screen and you will know what mode you are in which by default should be docked. Let's go over to advanced. And down here, we're gonna go ahead and enable a synchronous presentation. This will give you a lot smoother gameplay by allowing the CPU and GPU to work in sync. And then we're also gonna turn on use a synchronous shader building. This will decrease stuttering in game by having your shaders load before you start playing. Now let's go down to controls. Now I have tested a PS5, Xbox Series controller, and a Nintendo Switch controller with this emulator, they all work. The controller I am using now is an Xbox Series controller. Make sure connect controller is checked. You have the option to select what type of controller you wanna use. I mostly stay with Pro Controller. Come over to input device, and any controller you have connected should be shown here. In my case, Xbox One controller. And as you see, once I selected Xbox One controller, my controller was mapped out for me. Now, of course, you can go in here and change some of the buttons up if you would like. You can change them by just clicking in the box and hitting whatever button on your controller you want to become that button. If you wanna save this controller profile, come up here to new, go ahead and give it a name. I'll just call it Xbox, okay, and save. If you have a second controller connected to your PC, then come up here to player two and repeat the same thing. Now, if you wanna see your hotkeys, we wanna come back over here and go up to general and hotkeys. Now you can write these down or you can click on one and you can remap it. Now to save our settings, come down to okay. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. Now, if you want to go full screen, then press the F11 key. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.